What you doing? <laughs> I'm siding our shed. I'm tired of it not having siding. I'm tired of it screaming lows like they paid us to put their house wrap on. It's a great marketing ploy on their part. Yeah, but they're not paying us for it. I know. So I thought I'd take it into my own hands, get some black spray paint, and get it done. Do you have a better idea? Guys, I think it is time for me to do the siding. Please? But only because Kyle asked so nicely. So you don't, you don't like my spray painted house wrap look? No, I mean, if you were gonna spray paint it, you should have spray painted it white so that it just blended in. Huh, that would have been a good idea. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to k &S Get Out. Could you help? Translation. Hey guys, welcome back to k &S Get Out. Today is your lucky day because guess who can't talk and has lost his voice? I can talk a little. It doesn't sound pretty. I can't yell at Mario from here when he starts picking on Hercules. That's true. I can't holler for help when I go down and I can't get back up. You better take your phone with you. I better just go inside and quit working today. <laughs> okay, so today is nap day for Kyle and Shannon's gonna do some work. <laughs> no, you know that's not happening. I feel okay, but the weather has just been all over the place. You got chances of rain at 60 plus degrees today. It was 20 degrees a couple days ago. We're just rolling with it but apparently my body forgot to roll with it, so I'm dealing with some allergies. So you get, you get Shannon's. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it'll be good. It'll you get good. my commentary today. No, no funny voices. I can't go above, you know, about right here. It just, nothing comes out. Ah, it's annoying, but it's okay. So I think it's time that I cover up Kyle's beautiful spray paint job. Ouch. I said it was beautiful. Ouch. You're covering it up. What are you covering up with? It's time for siding. Boom. I'm excited. It's going to be a good day. Well, I'm going to try not to annoy you with my voice today, but if you're new here, this isn't normally what I sound like. So I don't know. Maybe this is better. Maybe volume down is, is good for everything. But we're going to keep going forward. This is just one of the joys of being a creator. If you're not feeling well or your voice ain't working, this is, this is what you get. Sorry about that. But Shannon yesterday did a lot of work on this building and got a lot of our corner trim up, which is fantastic. We got to get that trim up so that she has something to side in between. Obviously, we don't want to put up the siding and not have the trim up there and not give ourselves edges. But today, hopefully, we're filling in that trim. I'm really hoping to get a good start on this today. I'm hoping to beat the weather, really. So it may just start pouring down rain on me and you guys are gonna get to see it. Well, you did a great job. I, I helped you a little bit where you'd let me and no, the rest of it, help. you dominated on your own. You did great. I finally got almost all the corner trim pieces on and painted. I know that most of the time people will put trim pieces on after they side, but I'm gonna do this a little bit differently and I'm gonna take my siding right up to the trim. So it gives me a nice straight edge to start with. So we'll see how that goes. Well, Hopefully it'll go smoothly. And I think it'd be a little bit different if you had like true siding that locked into place yes. or screwed in. I mean, these are those wood planks from the pallets yep. so that we can save a little bit of money, keep a nice unique look yes. that matches our shelter. And speaking of the pallets, I wanna throw a shout out to Caleb. Thank you so much because those planks that you gave me are finally about to be used. I feel like the luckiest person because I didn't have to take any pallets apart. I didn't have to remove any nails. I just have wooden planks ready to go. Couldn't be more excited about that. That's awesome. Yeah, thank you guys so much. It's this, this shed, as we know, we kind of went over this before we started it, but this has been a partially recycled project. And then JR from 4W Building Supply came out and he helped donate his time and you know gave us a great deal on some of the sheet metal so we're way under budget on this guy but it looks like the taj mahal of shed shops at least the ones i've built because this is the only one but shannon did a killer job like i said i've just got to finish off this corner for her where'd you go Sorry. You don't know where I went because you can't hear me anymore. Exactly. It's kind of nice for I you. I just get to it? go do my own thing. Yeah, you can actually go to the other end of the camper and you can no longer hear me. That's actually true Ugh. for the, like the first time ever. It's fun. So is this the only corner we got to finish out yeah. right there? Yeah, this is it. So I took a few pieces of the trim that were cut 
and seamed them together, but it was really difficult. So we went and bought a couple of fresh pieces of lumber so that we can just have one solid piece from top to bottom. Who's being the OCD perfectionist now? I put a seam on the other one. Don't tell Shannon. She didn't hear me. I put My a voice seam on this one. Don't tell her. There's a seam over here. It's just not easy mm -hmm. and it's not ideal. Oh, it looks great. Don't, but don't zoom in on it. They would never have known had we not just showed them. Don't zoom in. And now people are going to lose sleep tonight because you did that. Well, it was your idea. Oh, that's true. <laughs> okay, I might be to blame or credit for that one. It's okay. But just got to finish that out and she can start going. She's done some really cool stuff as far as the burnt look, which provides a little bit of insect repellent and prolongs the life of the wood, if you will. Kind of, kind of weather seals it a bit, but this time we're gonna take it a step further and add uh, true weather sealant. So Shannon's gonna show you that and talk about it a little bit because I'm tired of hearing myself. You have to be as well. Let's just get to work. Sounds good. Let's go. That's not what you're supposed to say. You're supposed to say, let's get it. Let's get it. That a girl. I haven't heard you say that in a while. <laughs> and don't touch my tape measure, okay? So while Shannon's doing that, I've got the doors well, just like they were in the last video for the most part, but I was able to rip. In fact, I had a gentleman comment and he said, Hey, I know how perfectionist you are. And you mentioned one by twos or one by threes or just one by ones for your door stops inside your jam. And he said, man, you're going to be better off trying to rip some of those one by fours that we've used for the trim because they're going to be less warped. And of course I can control the width of them. So that's what I did here. I don't have a table saw, so I just kind of rigged up some clamps and my guides, and I was able to rip these down to about an inch and three eighths, and they are perfect stoppers for my door. Check this out. Oh yeah. <laughs> I, I shouldn't be as excited about that as I am, but I am, because now I can just push the doors closed, and for right now, put my propane tank in front of them, because that's how we keep it closed. <laughs> but I'm gonna keep working on the doors, get those trimmed out, we got a couple other pieces of hardware that we're gonna to try to make it so it's a little bit easier to open and close and secure them. When we ran to get more supplies today, I went and looked at some heavy magnets and these are made for heavy duty cabinet doors. And these are like the biggest ones they had at that store. And I'm not looking for these to, to perform any kind of securing function per se, other than convenience. So what I plan to do when I put my door jam trim in, this stuff here, I left a gap right in the middle. And I thought about either using that for my pin system, but I believe I've got a different idea for that. So I'm gonna put this magnet up here. I'm gonna put two of them actually, one for this door and one for that door. And then you put the metal piece on that part of your door. So when I close it, it'll latch up and at least hold those. Nothing, like I said, nothing secure. We still gotta put in a locking mechanism. We gotta put in a handle and a pin system, and I know we're going way over the top, but it's what we do. So I'm gonna throw these two up there, that way we can push the doors closed and they'll stay, and uh, then we'll keep going, start trimming and all that good stuff. Man, guys, I am so sorry. I'm hearing myself back on film and I wouldn't want to listen to me either. So I'm going to keep this nice and short. Without going into too much detail, I've got my magnets set up and it's not bad. You know, it's not something I can rely on to keep the doors shut in like a catastrophic winds or something, but at least now it'll keep them shut without having to put that propane bottle down in front of it. And that way we can go ahead and get the handles and the trim and everything on, if I can get it back open now. <laughs> but I really like this. I used these cabinet screws because the ones they provided were teeny tiny and I didn't really trust them. So I wanted to use the screws I had a little bit longer, dug in a little bit better. And then I did use their flush little screws on the plates. And I noticed on Amazon, they have much higher rated magnets. So if I felt the need in the future, to upgrade, I could just change out the magnet and I could leave the little metal plate on the doors. All right, well, step one, done. Uh, I've heard Shannon over here a little concerned. I don't know what she's doing. I've not heard any siding go up on the building, but I wanna go check and see what she's got going on and figure out where she's at on the siding. Hey, babe. 
What's happened, Captain? Well, I've run into a little bit of an issue. You broke into your pile. I broke into my pile and you, you know, this thing was as tall as me almost. Oh yeah, had 900, almost a thousand yeah. pieces and in it. I have moved probably almost half of them from this stack over here. And I'll be real honest, I thought these would be fine to be out in the weather and I didn't even take into consideration that they would get wet and mold. Uh -oh. So. Is that what that white is? We've got an issue, yeah. We've got it here. I mean, several of them are like stuck together because the mold is so bad. Oh my goodness. Yeah, and so I, well, I can't use these. <laughs> well, I mean, surely, I mean, we could use them like if we need to, you know, we've been talking about wanting to kind of revamp our hay and straw setup. Yeah. Could we use them for something like that? I think they could be sanded down a little bit and maybe used for that, but for our shed, I don't think we're gonna, I don't think we're gonna be able to do it, so. Dang. As you guys know, this shed has been an awesome project that a lot of people have contributed to, and these were also donated. They were donated, They yeah. were donated to the project by a couple of viewers that live a couple towns over, and we've gone and met them, wonderful people. So I hate that this is how these ended up. They'll still be used, I promise. We've got plenty of places to put them. We'll run some tests on them as far as sanding and flaming and all that good stuff. But we got to figure out something different for the shed because that would be way too much prep work for every single piece to cover that much shed. I calculated with these boards, I was going to need over 400 of them to finish everything out. So I think what I'm going to do is call my dad, see if maybe he can get me some more. I don't know, we'll see what happens. Awesome. Well, let me grab the torch and the sander and we'll just hit a couple of these bad ones just to kind of verify what shape it's in and see how much prep work would have to go into them. Okay. And then again, worst case scenario, we just use them on a project that doesn't have to be as finished per okay. se. Yeah, I, I don't want them to go to waste. Oh no, no, no. I no. just didn't think about it not having airflow. Right. You know. Well, and some people go for that distressed look and I don't know if after time, you know, does it, does it do evolve that on its own? into something a little rustic? I don't know. So let's test it. You get in touch with your dad and we'll see what we can come up with because I don't want to spend another six weeks doing siding on the shed. I don't either. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Well, sorry, babe. It's okay. All right. So I got the 80 grit sandpaper, which is a removal sandpaper. This is for rough sanding. So it should take off enough of the wood to clean it up a little bit and this is the torch that we've used for most of our burning projects so let's see how these clean up i guess if at all right if at all yeah well take note of the gunk on my this is a fairly fresh piece of sandpaper so we'll see how gross this is after one plank <laughs> Oh, it actually cleaned my sandpaper. <laughs> so it's rougher than my sandpaper. Man, that is gonna be rough. Cause this is, I mean, that's like penetrated into the wood a bit. Let's see what the torch looks like. Well, kind of like we mentioned, that, that would be okay. That would work for certain things. But imagine I had to do that for over, what, how, do you, did you calculate about how many it would take? It was about 450. So 450 of that, I don't know how long that took me. Let's call it 30 seconds to be nice. That's a lot of time. That's a lot of time. A lot of time. Dang. Okay. Well, let's see what our other options are before we go that route. And uh, we'll just put the siding off for another day, right? I'm gonna get the spray paint back out. I'm taking down that L word. They're not getting <laughs> any more free marketing. It ain't happening. Unless they wanna write a check, then I'll put it up there even more. There you go. Okay. It's just how it goes. Yep.
I have good news. You are going to do all the sanding and the burning for me. We don't have to do all the sanding oh, and the burning. Thank oh the my Lord. gosh. My dad called Caleb, so my dad is going to go over there and pick up another pallet of wood planks for us Boom. because Caleb is donating another one. So thank you my so goodness. much, Caleb. I, I cannot tell you how grateful yeah, I am for no this. No doubt. And to top it off, he really put the cherry on top. Instead of giving us this style plank, he is going to donate to us one by six pine planks that are basically brand new. So that's six inches. Oh, these, these are all these are all four, four inches. Inch, so I mean, two inches per plank. Yeah. You're talking a multitude of. It's going to save me yeah. so much time. Yeah. So I could not be more grateful. Thank you so, so much to my dad for reaching out and seeing if we could get that and for delivering them and to Caleb for donating that. That's super awesome. Could not be more grateful. Thank you guys so much. No doubt what she said times two with a much prettier voice. Thanks guys. Once again, my dad has come to save the day. I could not be more thankful. And he is here dropping off these pallet planks for me now. I am super excited about this. And I'm so glad that I get to continue my project now. Who's here? You say hi to grandpa. She's like, grandpa, can I go for a ride in your truck? You can get up in there. It's a pretty good step for you. Yeah, it's a pretty good step. This is exciting. Thank you so much for coming to save the day. No I really appreciate it. <laughs> Always call dad when you're in a pinch. Thanks, Ken. You're welcome. Well, my dad dropped off all the planks yesterday. We got them unloaded. I had a whole pile started. Got the compressor set up with the nail gun and everything. And I got one board done and it started raining. So. Wasn't a whole lot we could do. At first I thought I'd work through the rain, but then it started pouring. So we had to put everything away and start again today. So we're going to get as much as we can done. We have more rain on the forecast. So Kyle's going to help me by cutting up some boards and making that whole process go a little bit quicker so that we can just get to work on getting as much of the siding up as we possibly can. So my voice is still jacked today. Sounds like I'm going through puberty all over again if I try to go too high and Shannon doesn't hesitate to make fun. <laughs> it's kind of funny. It's a little bit funny. I'm getting better. I just, I can't, I still, uh, yeah, right there. That's all you get. <laughs> all right, so this has been your baby. You know me, you give me direction, and I am here to help. So is there any precision to the length of them or can I just give you a straight edge? Most of them can just be a straight edge. Which ones cannot? You can cut several with just a straight edge and then what's going to have, have to happen is once I get to the very end and I need them cut in half, that's when I'll tell you the length that I need. So can we just ignore the seams and we just make sure they don't line up, but we don't necessarily have to have them like brick pattern? To a point, yeah. I want to do as little to each plank as possible so that we can just get in a rhythm and go without too much precision. Which yes, I know is completely counterintuitive, but that's a lot of siding and that's a lot of little custom one-off measurements. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go long, long, short, long, long, short, long, long, short. Does that make sense? It does. I'm just saying if I'm just straightening these edges, sometimes maybe I take off three quarters of an inch. Sometimes maybe I take off an eighth. Sometimes. Yeah, that's okay. The short one is the one we'll measure. Which is going to throw your seams off. So it's not oh, so. Oh, that, that, I understand what you're saying now. I didn't understand what you were saying. Yeah. I get it See, now. The camera's rolling. I just needed her to admit on camera, all I got to do is square the edges and then she'll put them up and the seams will be where they go. Yes. Cool with that? Yes. I do have to pull this piece off though because... No, that's our one and only piece of siding. I know, but no. the edges aren't straight. Oh, okay. They well, don't line up properly. That's all you had to say. You got me there. Okay. I'm, I'm down to support that. Okay. Let me go grab your hammer and I'll pull this one off. So I can just start cutting and straightening edges? Absolutely. Boom. Yep. I got a job. Thank you. Uh-huh. Two like blackbirds or crows and a hawk up there. They're trying to push that hawk away.
I don't know why, but that's kind of fascinating. I thought it was fascinating too. Okay, here, here's, here's a flaw with uh, safety glasses. You put them on, they have sawdust on them, and it gets in your eyes just from wearing them. <laughs> don't wear safety glasses. That's not true. I don't wear safety glasses. <laughs> Is that better? Goodness gracious. Okay, always wear safety glasses. We promote safety around here. Yeah, so be sure and put your safety glasses on and open your eyes real big when you do it so you catch all the sawdust on. Got it. Do you think I have a worse attitude when I'm sickly? Doesn't everybody? <laughs> That's a nice way of saying, oh, you betcha. She's right. I don't like not feeling well. <laughs> Okay, I do have a serious question for you. Ooh, a serious question? Yeah. Does it require I come look at your stuff? I can bring my level to you. My black trim at the bottom. You yes. know what I'm talking about? Yep. When I put the level on it, the bubble is... <laughs> you don't have to get the bubble. About right, right there. Okay, what are you saying? So my question is, is for my first row, do I go ahead and make the bubble match what the trim matches, or do I make them all level with earth? It's a serious question. I know, and as my siding pro, what do you want to do? If you if you don't make a level with earth, it's definitely gonna look crooked running up the side. And ignore the fact that my black trim at the bottom may be thicker on one end than it is the other. Here's my recommendation. Pick whichever method you want and just stick to it. What are you gonna be able to live with? I think that it will mess with my eyes more if it's not straight with this. So put one row of straights of the planks and then take your second row where you start to overlap and let your adjustments be in there. Okay. I got you. Does that make sense? Yep. Thank you. Yes. Crisis averted. It's kind of like the shrinking and the stretching that JR was doing on the sheet metal. Yes. Like to get his lines right and everything, he would have to kind of shrink or stretch the sheet metal so the next piece would go on straight because you continue to carry the offage down and in this case, you would continue to carry that offage up. So when you're done, you're looking at it like this. You're like, oh, that looks good. Kind of. I got it. Cool, cool. Good enough, anyway. I'm not really sure that I answered your question, so I'm just going to leave you to it and hope that you're going to kill it. I have faith in you. You're going to kill it. Well, I'm going to do something. <laughs> OK. Right there, grab that for me. That's the pliers. Right there, yeah, get that hurt. Hurt. You don't want to bring me the level? What good are you? Thank you. I tried to get Herc to help me, but he didn't want any part of it. not coming out. You shouldn't be doing that without your safety glasses there. I got nothing. You got nothing. You got nothing. I was the you got person nothing. that was doing something. I got another pair over there. Yeah, you're just shooting staples 2,000 feet per second. No big deal. No big deal. You're making me so proud right now. I may have to put this camera down and come uh, flirt with you a bit. <laughs> Leveling. 
safety glasses. Leaning down to make sure it's all perfect. Oh, that P word. Just don't look at the edges, okay? Oh, you know I will. I'll give you a grade later. Oh, I know you will. This is looking beautiful, babe. Thank you. Oh, your vision. I love it. Must be nice to be able to switch between your left and right hand like that. <laughs> it is pretty convenient. I'm not gonna lie about that. I don't really have that luxury. I'm very right-handed dominant and there's not much I could do. It's it is convenient being ambidextrous. I might I might be able to shoot the staple gun. You I don't can know. Do it. I don't know. Faith in you. you give me a half inch wiggle room and maybe. Well, you're absolutely murdering it over here. Oh man, I am so happy with the way this looks and I could not be more thankful for these planks. These are awesome. I can already imagine what the rest of it's gonna look like. Doesn't it look beautiful? And I'm so excited. Well, I stopped right here because the window is gonna go here and then we have trim and I don't wanna make it too tight. So I'll finish this row out once we have the window cut out and the trim done. I appreciate I'm that because we got to hope that my windows are fairly square. <laughs> I haven't <laughs> cut those out yet, so we don't really know. I'm uh, sure they'll be fine. Yeah, they're not bad. So this is still, as you guys know, still going to get the burn treatment. Yep. And it's going to get the water sealant, which is really going to give it that extra character and tie in the black. And then it's going to match the goat shelter down there. It's going to look awesome. And I'll talk more about the sealer that I decided to use later. I don't want to do it in this video but I've already picked out what sealer I'm gonna use and I have a test panel. It's gonna look awesome. Sweet. I'm super excited. So it's official. We're getting rid of Lowe's. It's on the way. Bye bye Lowe's. Making it happen. Well, per usual, making videos and getting work done at the same time has proven to be pretty difficult. Sometimes <laughs> it would be easier just to come out, get to work, not deal with shooting and all that stuff, but then you guys wouldn't get to see it. That's fun no fun. is that? So we're gonna keep figuring it out, but hopefully we can get some good weather in the future. I will bust out the windows while Shannon works on the back of this thing, and we will get this whole thing sided and we can start finishing things Oh, I'm so up. excited. Tomorrow's supposed to be a 60 degree and sunny day, so I should get a lot done tomorrow. I'm holding you to that now that you said I'm it. I'm good with on that. On video, with That's witnesses. Fine. I don't care. Okay. I'll get out here and start working. I have faith. Well, guys, thank you so much for understanding. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully, <laughs> hopefully my voice will be back in the next video and we'll have a whole lot more of this done. Well, guys, we appreciate you coming by and coming along on this journey with us. Here we, come the sprinkles. Yeah. We cannot tell you how much we love and appreciate each and every one of you. And as always, we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. Bless you.